Hello, hello, good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Hello, guys. How was your day? Fine. Excellent. Thank you, Alexa. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Karen. How was your day? Fine. Thank you. And you? Excellent. I had a great day. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you also, right? Bueno, vamos a esperar, chicos, porque este solo hemos cuatro conectados. Y ahorita estamos en las 7.56. Okay, vamos a esperar ese tiempo para que los demás se puedan conectar. Y vamos a empezar con la clase. Ok, okay está bien. Perfecto.
I see Chicos. What time is it, guys? Eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock. So that's when we have to start with the class, okay? Uh, we are now, now we are a night connected. I guess we are, we can pass the, the list right now. So we hope the others can add it as the time has passed. Good evening, right? Good evening Peter. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Excellent. I'm great. Thank you so much for asking me. Okay. Okay, guys. Welcome to everybody. Today we are going to talk about another topic that is going to be useful for you guys when you are going to start to speak in English with someone else. And most of you, maybe you want to say that something exists in some places, right? For example, we are going to talk about there is and there are, right? We are going to talk about that and in other words, the most to pronouns. We're going to talk about the most to pronouns and we are going to talk about also about quantifiers. Yesterday, we were talking about what, guys? I would like to make a feedback about what we were discussing yesterday in order to pass to another topic. Yesterday, guys, we were talking about preposition, right? We were talking about preposition of place, we were remembering something about that. And also we were talking about the phrases of the preposition that led us to give a directions, right? We were learning how to give directions in English, right? And some phrases of that were what or which. It was uh, go straight ahead, right? ¿Qué significaba go straight ahead, guys? What does go straight ahead means, guys? Guys, are you there? Okay, so I'm going to talk about that, okay? So go straight ahead means ve hacia adelante, right? And also we were talking about eh, go back, go back, eh, turn right, turn left, eh, go down, right? Go up the street or go down the street. And also we were talking about eh, what? Walk two blocks, walk three blocks or one block, it depends, right? And also we were making some examples about how to give directions with that phrases. For example, we were saying, okay, where is the bank? Okay, where is the supermarket? Where is the market, right? Or where is the church? Or where is the stadium? Or where is the police station? Or where is the fire station? And even the bus station, right? So, and we were saying that, for example, what is the bank? Ah, the bank is, you have to go straight ahead, you have to turn left, turn left, sorry, and then you have to walk, to walk down the street for two blocks, and then you have to turn right, and the, <clears throat> and the stadium is there, right, in front of you. This could be an example of how to give directions and how to use the phrases that we were just practicing yesterday, guys. For example, if I ask you guys, where is in your tongue? Okay, let's talk about your tongue. Cada quien tiene su, su lugar de, de donde vive, ¿verdad? Pero usted probablemente, ¿verdad? Si viven todos en el mismo lugar, si es coincide. Si yo les pregunto, where is the market? Could you give me the directions of the, of the market? Uh -huh. The market is in downtown. Uh -huh. And how I can get there? How I can get there? Como puedo llegar ahí, Peter? Ah, eh, suppose uh -huh. eh, I, I am in the park. 
en el Central Park la Unión. Uh -huh. eh, one block to uh -huh. south. One block to south. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice, Diego? And you get there, or you are right there. You are right there. Uh -huh. the, so I had the, to I had to walk two blocks al sur, right? To the south. Sí, al sur. Al sur. Oh, okay. Excellent. Two walks. And I and I get there. Easy, right? Yes. Okay, from the park. Okay, perfect. So easier, right? So facilito, right? It's just to block. I go down the street or go on the south street and walk two blocks and you get there. Easy, okay, perfect, excellent. Thank you so much, Peter. Peter. Yeah. So someone Thanks. else, someone else that would like to practice, guys. For example, where is the bus station? Where is the bus station in your place? The bus station is two blocks uh -huh. to west, the Gobernation, La Unión. Okay, so two blocks to the west. Two blocks from? To west, from Gobernation, of, uh, the Gobernation La Unión, Oficina. The Okay. The office governation. Okay, the Union. office the office govern government. Govern. So, so usted quiere decir alcaldía, right? No, gobernación. No. Gobernación. Go gobernación. Oh, okay. Perfect. So two blocks. I had to walk two blocks, and that's it. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Somebody else? Wants to practice? Bye. Entonces, como veo que están con penita, chicos, entonces voy a escribir en el WhatsApp. Bueno, en el chat de la Miri. Yo voy a hacer la pregunta y ustedes me dan la dirección. Cada uno de ustedes tiene que escribirla en el chat de la Miri. ¿Cómo puedo llegar a tal punto del lugar donde usted vive? ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, where is the park? O where is the park where is the park and how can i get there how can i get there guys how can i get there how can i get there como puedo llegar ahí Ahora escríbame en el chat, please. Everybody has to write it down. What is the direction that I have to follow, okay? From your home, okay? Desde su casa, please. La casa de cada quien. So, significa que tiene que ser diferente, un poquito diferente. En algunas cosas tiene que variar su dirección. A menos que viva cerquita. Todos alquilamos juntos. <laughs> en el mismo, no, en el mismo. El mismo mismo condominio. condominio, right? Sí. Ok, go ahead. Para que nos salga fácil. Teacher. Tell me, Mario. Hello, how are you? Great, excellent, Mario. And what about you? All good, teacher. Ok, perfect. Sí. Glad to hear that. So, could yes. you be excellent, right? Yes, it is. Okay, Mario. Yes. I, I need. I'm going to participate. Okay, perfect. I need you to write me that. Write it down in the chat of the meeting. How I can get to the park from the place where you live. For example, yeah. desde su casa, yeah. cómo puedo llegar okay. al parque. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Teacher. Tell me. Eh, para llegar al parque, está preguntando. Sí, de la unión, ¿verdad? De, de, unión. de donde usted vive, pero usted me tiene que dar la dirección desde su casa. ¿Cómo yo puedo llegar desde su casa al parque de la unión? De acuerdo. Okay. Perfecto.
Yeah. My home, the dry head. Boys, dry head. So, Peter says, from my house. So, go, go, my house. go. Okay. go. go straight ahead, go straight. five blocks. Uh -huh. Five blocks. Turn and to right. To right. Two. Two blocks, Two blocks more, okay? Two blocks. Right to park. And a right, and then you are right to the park. To the park, right. okay? To the park. Perfect, right. excellent. Right Thank you so Thanks. much. Thank you. Let's see, Marlene said from Con Chawa, so we go down to the Union, we arrive at the they were and then along the main street to the center we are right at the park that is in front of the union church okay perfect so conchawa right so you live outside the union okay maybe or near right okay alexa said from my house you should to you should tú deberías tomar o tú debes tú debes right but I say, Alexa, in this case, you have to say, you have to walk because you should, es tu deberías. Tu deberías tomar, it's like, uh, it's like uh, an advice, walk. something like this. Yeah. But in this case, we use have, okay? You, you have to walk one and a half block to north. Then you, sh you have to turn on, le on the left and you have to go straight ahead and then you have to to go straight ahead for four blocks more to the west and you get the catholic church in front of the church is the part or the part is located right so you can say that also right thank you so much i take it i take Carla Susana dice, you had to take the bus from Conchagua to La Unión. I get off, and you get off, right? Or take off, right? At the Central Park. Okay, perfect. So you are you are directly in that, that uh, bus, right? You get in the place right there, just taking the bus. Okay, perfect. Mario Gonzalez from my house. I walk five blocks to northeast, northeast, passing the supermarket selectos, then caja de crédito, 
and then Banco Agricola. I arrived at the Central Park, which is located in the center of the city in front of the Catholic Church. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. From my house, this is Karem. To get to the park, you have to go up, go up, or go up the street, right? One block. So at so to get the main street, then two blocks to the west. Okay, perfect. Carla Susana is yes, it's there. Okay, perfect. So it is easier for you, Carla, to get to the park, right? Because of the 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 bus leave you there, right? Leave you there. Okay, perfect. Excellent. So somebody else is missing. Nobody's missing, guys. Okay, we have Karen, we have Carla, Mario, Alexa, Marlene, Peter, Wilfredo, all right? No? No, it's not Wilfredo, all right? Wilfredo's not here. Karen also, all right? So, just few guys. What happened with the other ones? Okay, we are going to wait for the others can do the, okay, Daniel say, I live in Santiago, San Antonio, perdón, neighborhood, when, when leaving my house, right, right, I turn right for three blocks, then turn left for one block more, you reach the main street, you drive for five minutes on the main street, and you are right to the park. Okay, perfect. You're right to the park. Pedro Mauricio said, to get to Santa Ana Rosa de Lima Park, from my house, I am 2.9 kilometers away. Wow. So you live in Santa Ana, right? Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa, perdón. <laughs> Santa Rosa. Okay, Santa Rosa de Lima Park. So you are far away, right? Santa Rosa de Lima, okay. Perfect, Mauricio. Excellent. Thank you so much for tell us. Somebody else? Somebody else? Guys, now I feel a little bit alone because any of you are with camera connected, right? So I, I'm, I'm like, I'm speaking, well. <laughs> but I'm trying, just cutting, me hace barra, como dicen, right? <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting me, right? <laughs> Okay, perfect. So nobody's missing. If nobody's missing, we are going to pass to our next activity. <laughs> okay, perfect. So let's start, guys. But first of all, I would like to pass the list, guys. Just give me some minutes, please. I guess that almost everybody's here, right? <laughs> Okay, Alexa Guadalupe Lopez, Viuda de Vasquez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Berta Lisette Medrano Medrano. Present, teacher. Thank you. Daniel Jonas Hernandez Garcia. Okay. Present, teacher. Thank you so much and enjoy, Daniel. Edwin Asuncion Abarca Celayandía. Praise. Edwin Walter Pérez Okay, perfect. <laughs> Jose Roberto Perla Guevara. Present teacher, yo escuché bien el nombre. Okay, Edwin, right? Edwin Flores. Okay, Edwin Walter Flores Munguía. Okay, Jose Roberto Perla Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Roberto. Karen Beatriz Ramírez López. 
Present teacher. Thank you, Carla Susana Flores de Ponce. I'm here. Thank you, Carla. Laura Guadalupe Bonilla Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you, Laura. Luis Enrique Varela Rodríguez. Mario Alexander González Celaya. Por ahí vi a Mario. Ok, Marlene is not me, Martín Reyes. I'm here, Reyes. I'm here, teacher. Ok, thank you, Mar Mario. Marlenis, Noemí Martínez Reyes. Pedro Mauricio Velázquez Sorto. Wilfredo Gómez. Ok, Pedro Mauricio Velázquez Sorto. Ok, perfect. Wilfredo Gómez Robles. Yuri Vanessa Rivas Peña. Jenny, Noemí Contreras Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Pablo Josué Mansor Cruz. Pedro Ángel Benítez Andrade. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Somebody is missing? ¿Alguien es, no lo mencioné? Guys? No? Ok, perfecto, chicos. Vamos a pasar a lo siguiente. Como ya hablamos acerca de las preposiciones de, de lugar, estuvimos hablando de cómo dar direcciones, ¿verdad? Uy. Y estuvimos este, eh, hablando también acerca de las preposiciones de tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, hemos estado aprendiendo a utilizarlas de la mejor manera en situaciones pues, que nos van a beneficiar de mucho cuando estemos hablando en inglés. Ok, pero también no vamos a dejar de lado, chicos, lo que son los demonstrative pronouns, ¿ok? Demonstrative pronouns. Today is December 13th. 2023. Our topic for today is demonstrative pronouns. There is and there are, okay? So, and our objective for this class is that students will be able to describe the location of my and other workplaces, right? In this case, we are going to use there is and there are. ¿Y qué son los demonstrative pronouns, teacher? What are demonstrative pronouns? Ah, Demonstrative pronouns is tell us that something exists or doesn't exist in this case. Remember that exists affirmative form and also a, a negative form, okay? But we are going to touch that more later, okay? So, ¿qué significa there is y there are? Okay, hay, hay, ¿verdad? O hay o no hay, okay? Puede ser singular, it puede ser plural, okay? Could be singular or plural. Could be positive or could be negative. And also we have the interrogative form. But we are going to talk about that, okay? So, for example, if we touch the affirmative form, we have there is plus the singular noun plus the complement in the sentences. For example, we have there is a book on the desk. This is affirmative. There is a book on the desk. On the desk. On yes. The desk. This is a singular because we have singular. just yeah. one object. And also, what is going to tell, tell us that is a singular form? That we have the form of the verb to be is. Okay. And here we have the num book without an S. Okay, so in the other hand, we have there are plus plural noun plus the complement. For example, we have there are books on the desk. And this is plural or is singular, guys? This is plural form. But why, teacher? Ah, because we have the Forms of the verb to be are, that means that are more than one things, right? And also we have the S at the end of the noun book. In this case are books. So that means that one, two, three, four, five, or even six books, okay? So we don't know the, the amounts of book, but we know that this, this is a plural form because we have the S at the end of the noun, okay? Keep in mind that. So also, guys, we have that we are going to use there is with uncountable nouns, okay? And what are uncountable nouns? 
Uncountable nouns are the nouns that are not count. Ok. Los nombres no contables or uncountable nouns son aquellos nombres que no se pueden contar. Ok. Y ya vamos a ver un poquito acerca de los uncountable nouns también. Ok. Por ejemplo, tenemos there is, <coughs> there is some milk in the fridge. In the fridge. Hay un poco de leche en el refrigerador. En el refrigerador. O en el, o en el freezer. Este fridge es la contracción de refrigerator, ¿ok? So, no worries okay. for that. So, ¿por qué es un, un contable no? Porque la leche no se puede contar, ¿verdad? Porque no puedes decir una leche, dos leches, tres leches, cuatro leches, cinco leches, right? So, es un nombre en general, ¿ok? Tú puedes contar cajas de leche, tú puedes contar botellas de leche, tú puedes contar bolsas de leche, etcétera, etcétera. Pero el, el nombre leche en general no es contable, ¿ok? Puedes decir leche, pero no leches, right? ¿Es clear? Eh... Es, como, es como que digas arena. Sound. La arena es un uncountable, ¿no? No puedes decir un arena. La no, sal, por ejemplo. Arena, ajá. La sal, el azúcar, eh, el arroz, ¿verdad? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? The water, use, and salt. I don't know, maybe. I don't know, okay, also. No, see, they can become, but... It takes a little bit time, right? <laughs> and we, we don't finish in this Teacher, year, right? Uh -huh. Alguna particularidad en este ejemplo de uncountable noun es que siempre va a ir en singular, ¿verdad? Sí, siempre va a ir en singular. Always. There is. There is. Yes. It is not plural. Part. So that's the way. So let's continue, guys. By, by the way, any other questions about the affirmative forms of the reason there are? Guys? The reason, the, the reason a pen. Okay. Va, a eso vamos. Vamos a la negativa, okay? No hay ninguna pregunta en el afirmativo? Everything is clear? No. No? No. Vaya. Acordémonos que there is y there are significa hay. ¿Ok? Hay. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, por ejemplo, si usted me quiere describir lo que hay en su casa. ¿Qué hay en su casa, Karen? Oh. There is no table. In my house, mm, one, one TV. Ajá, entonces con un televisor vamos a ocupar There, there is, is a TV There is a TV There is a TV, ok Hay un uh, televisor, televisor. Ok, mm -hmm. si tenemos uh, dos sillas ¿Qué vamos a ocupar? There is o there are? There, there are. are There oh, are two, two. There are two chairs chair. chair. Excelente Ahora there bien eso sí, eso es singular y plural, ¿ok? Pero si tenemos un nombre no contable, los nombres no contables son aquellos que no podemos contar. Por ejemplo, eh, en su casa hay harina. O sal. Como hay, un, como hay un montón de granitos y es un poquito imposible de contar, Karen. Entonces vamos a utilizar siempre there is, ¿ok? There is. There is, there is okay. some sal in huh? my house, ¿ok? Hay un poquito, hay un poco de sal en mi casa, ¿ok? Con esos nombres okay. no contables vamos a utilizar siempre there is. Sal, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Sal. Salt. Ok, perfect. Excellent. Ahora sí estamos bien. Yes. Right. Ok, perfect. <laughs> Excellent. So let's continue with the negative form, ok? En la negativa, chicos, siempre vamos a agregar la palabra not. En este caso, pues acá la estamos contractando. Exactly. Utilizamos una abbreviation o contractions of the word. The word not. <clears throat> si yo quiero decir que en mi casa no hay. Por ejemplo, harina o no hay arena, ¿cómo diría? 
there is sin. Ajá. Eh, Complete the sentence, please. There is an arena. No, I don't know arena in English. Okay. You don't know what, how do you say arena in English? It is sound. Ajá. How do you say arena in English? In English? It is sound. Sound. Ah. Hmm? There is sense. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sound. Sound. In, in my house. My house. Excellent. Si yo le digo, este, en su casa no hay, no hay, este, árboles de coco, ¿cómo lo diría? There aren't. There uh -huh. aren't. There are or there aren't? There aren't. Three. Uh -huh. there aren't. Tree in my house. Aren't coconut trees? Coconut tree. trees. Trees with it because we are talking about plural form. One, two, three, four, or five. Four. Eh, coconut trees, right? Recuerden que cuando, para identificar la forma plural siempre el nombre va a llevar yes. una S al final. Ok, la mayoría. Coconut, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. coconut trees. Mm -hmm. Ok. There there are. There aren't coconut trees. Coconut trees in my, in house. my house. Ok. Si yo quiero utilizar un nombre no contable, por ejemplo, tenemos eh, jugo de piña o jugo de naranja, right? En mi casa no hay jugo de naranja. O en la refri no hay jugo de naranja. ¿Cómo lo diría? There is a. There is a. Orange juice in my house. Okay, perfect. There is an orange juice in my house. So, como jugo de naranja no es contable, yo voy a utilizar siempre el... El forma, singular. El singular. La forma singular del verbo to be. Ok, puede ser be, positivo yes, o puede ser negativo. Ok, is clear? Ok, perfect. Por ejemplo, miren, acá tenemos otros ejemplos. Tenemos... Ocupamos there is, ocupamos eh, la contracción de, de, de la palabra not, right? Más el nombre en singular, si es solo uno. Ok, for example, there isn't a pen on the table. No hay un lápiz cero, right? En la, en la mesa. En la mesa. Ok, en la mesa. y si se fijan, estábamos ocupando también las preposition of place. On. Ajá, vaya, ahora vamos con el plural. Con el plural vamos a utilizar there aren't plus the plural okay. nouns, que en este caso okay. serían los lapiceros. Si se fijan, acá tenemos una S al final. ¿Ok? There aren't any pens aren't here. Yeah. Any, yeah. any significa ninguno. ¿Ok? Mm. Ninguna, mm. ninguno. Ningún, ninguno, ningún, ni un lapicero aquí, right? Any pens. Any yeah. pens. Nada de lapiceros acá. Yeah. Yeah. And, y acá tenemos la forma no contable, ¿verdad? Que es there isn't, there isn't any use in the fridge. Any use in No hay the fridge. nada de jugo de naranja ni jugos en el refrigerador. Okay, no hay nada. So you have to go to the supermarket tomorrow, right? <laughs> so this is the way that you are going to say that, right? If you don't have something, you have to go to the supermarket or the market and buy it. <laughs> okay, perfect. So, is clear? Or would you like to have a practice before pass to the interrogative form? Guys? Vaya, vamos a, vamos a hacer un ejercicio antes de pasar a la forma interrogativa, ¿ok? Because I need to be sure that you have gotten the, the topic, ¿ok? Vaya, vamos a escribir en el chat una oración utilizando there is en singular positiva de lo que hay en su casa. Usted puede escoger cualquier cosa que hay en su casa, que sea contar, pero lo vamos a hacer en singular. Tiene que haber una cosa. Ok, y me lo escribe en el chat. Vamos a ir paso a paso. Ok, go ahead. Mm. 
Lo voy a enviar al chat. ¿Sí? No, ustedes tienen que escribirla ah, la oración directo, en positivo. Una oración. Sí, una oración positiva de lo que hay en su casa, ¿verdad? Utilizando uh -huh. el singular, lo que usted quiera decir de alguna cosa que haya en su casa. ¿Ok? Como usted se siente okay. más. Cómodo. Positivo. Sí, tiene que ser positivo. For example, Edwin Flores said, there is one computer on my table. Ok, perfect. Okay. There, there is a computer on my table. Table, ok, perfect. Correcto. Okay, Roberto said there is my car. Okay, there is a car in this case. Jose Robert. There is a car. Ani is missing there. There, there is a car. Okay, perfect. In my house, there is a refrigerator, okay? Or a fridge. Okay, per Mauricio say, Alexa, there is a dog in my house. Okay, perfect, Alexa. Jose Roberto, there is my car. There is a car, Robert. <laughs> hay un carro, right? Si no estás diciendo, hay mi carro. Okay, Karen Beatriz, there is one TV on my room. Okay, perfect, excellent. There is a TV on my room. As simple as that, right? Excellent. Somebody else? Vamos, chicos, you can do it. Vamos, go ahead. Go, go, go. Wilfredo, Judy, Laura. Marlenis. Vamos, chicos. Lizeth Medrano. Remember that the participation is so important during the class, guys. Okay. And also the camera, please. Okay. Jose Roberto Perla dice, there is a boy watching TV. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Congratulations. There is a boy watching TV. Great. Great example. Okay. No more? No more? No more? Vaya, ok, perfecto. Ahora vamos a decir, ok, Karen, there is a kitchen in my house. Excelente, Karen, that's the way. Ahora, chicos, vamos a hacer la misma oración que hemos enviado en forma positiva. La vamos a cambiar a negativa, ok? Siempre en singular. Pedro Benítez dice, there is one table in my house. Ok, perfecto, excelente. Ahora, esa misma oración, pásenmela a negativo, chicos. There is, there is... My shoes in my closet. Okay, there are, there is a pair of shoes. Si está hablando del par de zapatos, sí. There is a pair of shoes 
si no, si estás hablando de los dos zapatos, you can say, there are two shoes, right, in my room, okay? And there, Wilfredo Gomez, there is my car. No, there is not my car. There is a car. There is a car in my house, okay? Perfect. Marlenis, there is a phone in my house. Excellent, Marlenis. Congratulations. Hay un ventilador en mi casa. Congrats. That's the way. Ahora, esa va a ser a negativo, chicos. Please. La misma oración pasa en la negativa. Vamos a mover esto por aquí, por aquí no se está bien. Vamos a ver. Ta, 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 ta. There isn't one table in my house. Ok, excellent. There is not one computer in my table. Excellent. There isn't one TV in my room. Excellent. Great. That's the way. Alexa, there isn't a dog in my house. Congratulations. Excellent. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Ok, let's check it. In my house, there isn't a, a cat, right? Is it? ¿No hay un gato? Ok, perfect. Cat. Vamos a ver. Ok. There isn't my car. José Roberto, please. There isn't a car. Ok. We cannot say my car. No hay un carro. Ok. Si no estás diciendo, no hay mi carro. <laughs> ok. Perfect. Marlenis, I don't have a phone. Marlenis, in this case, you have to use there isn't, okay? There isn't a phone in my house because I don't have is another thing. Es otro pisto, como dicen por ahí. So you can say there isn't a phone in my house. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Let's see who else. Nobody else, guys. Ok, vamos a ver. ¿Quién mandó una tabla de oraciones? Ok, Carla. Ok, there isn't a TV in my house. There isn't an air conditioner in my house. Ok. In, there are three beds in my house. There aren't three closets in my house. And there is some sugar. There is some sugar in my house also. There isn't some arena or floor in my house. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Congratulations. Daniel, there isn't a shoes, a pair of shoes. A pair of shoes in my house. Okay. There isn't a pair of shoes. There is. Who yes. write a pair of t-shirt? Como? Who write a pair? So you can you can say a pair of shoes. Un par. No hay un par de zapatos en mi casa. Okay. Es que si le pones the reason y le pones el plural en zapatos se está contradiciendo. Porque entonces tendrías que decir there are two shoes in the closet. Pero si dices, no hay un par, el par es singular, ¿ok? No hay un par de zapatos en mi casa, ¿ok? Entonces ya no tomas los zapatos en sí, sino que tomas el par, el nombre par de zapatos, ¿ok? ¿Daniel? Ok, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Marlenis, there is no kitchen in my house, okay? There is, there isn't or there is not, right? 
Okay, there is not a kitchen in my house. Okay, perfect, great. Somebody else? Before pass to the next part. Jose Roberto, there isn't a boy watching TV. Excellent, Robert. Great, congratulations. <clears throat> Somebody else? Somebody else, guys? <laughs> I'll see. <laughs> help me, please, help. <laughs> It says somebody else. No. Okay, perfecto. Vamos a pasar a lo siguiente, chicos. Ahora tenemos después de, de estudiar la forma positiva y la forma negativa. También tenemos la forma interrogativa, the interrogative form, ¿ok? Así como el verbo to be, así como el, el do o el does, o el doesn't, también eso tiene una forma interrogativa. Los demonstrative pronouns had it, ¿ok? So, let's talk about that. Cuando nosotros hablamos de forma interrogativa, siempre vamos a cambiar la posición del verbo con el sujeto. In this case, there cumple la función del sujeto en este caso, ¿ok? Entonces, si tenemos una oración que diga there is a cat on the chair, entonces yo voy a cambiar el is para acá, el ver para acá, y la, la, la pregunta nos quedará, is there a cat on the chair? ¿Hay un gato en la silla? ¿O sobre la silla? <coughs> si la queremos hacer... Plural, vamos a utilizar there are, ¿verdad? There are cats on the sofa. Hay gatos sobre el sofá. Pero si la queremos convertir a pregunta, le vamos a cambiar la posición del there con el are. Always, are there cats on the sofa? Y siempre recordar, ¿verdad? Que si usted no agrega el signo de interrogación al final, no es una pregunta. Se tiene que por ley agregar el signo de interrogación para que pueda considerarse como pregunta. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? Ok, perfecto. Entonces, ahora bien, la misma oración que usted me ha hecho en forma positiva y en forma negativa, me la va a pasar a interrogativa, siempre en el chat. ¿Ok? Go ahead. En este caso, van a pasar la forma positiva e interrogativa. La negativa no, ¿ok? La positiva. Teacher. Yes. Podría dar de nuevo la indicación que me salió un poquito del contexto ahí. Vaya, ahorita vamos a pasar esta, la, la oración que usted me mandó en positivo, allá arriba, en el chat. En positivo y negativo. Ajá, pero solo vamos a tomar en cuenta la positiva, ¿ok? Ah, vaya. Esa misma positiva me va a pasar a forma interrogativa, así como este ejemplo, ¿ok? Ah, ya, yeah. sí, okay. ya. ya Excelente. Vaya, ok, Roberto ha hecho el primero. Dice, is there a boy watching TV? Muy bien, excelente, Roberto. Daniel, is there 
a pair of shoes in my closet. Excellent, Daniel. That's the way. Thank you so much. Somebody else? Marlene, is there a kitchen in my house? Is there a kitchen in my house? Excellent. Karen. Ok, Karen. Vaya, Karen me va a pasar el there para después y el is al principio. Ok. El is va al principio y el there va después del is en este caso. Ok. Le quedaría is there one TV in my house? ¿Hay un televisor en mi casa? Edwin said, is there one TV in my house? Oh, sorry. Is there a cat in my house? Is cat con C, okay? Gato, right? Cat. Karen, is there one TV in my house? Excellent. That's the way. Cuando vamos a hacer preguntas, eso es lo que pasa. Pasa el verbo to be al principio y luego pasamos el there. Okay? Great. Excellent. Somebody else? Is there a car in my house? Yes, right? That's the way, Roberto. Excellent. Is there one table? Espérense que no pude leer. Is there one table in my house? Me imagino que decir. ¿Por qué no lo pude leer? Sí. Okay, Carla. Is, is, there a... is there one table in my house? Like, okay, okay, perfect. Is there a TV in my house? Are there three beds in my house? Is there some sugar in my house? Okay, congratulations. Excellent. Great. Somebody else? 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 Nobody? Ok, bye. ahora vamos a ver la forma de cómo responder a esa pregunta. Cuando nosotros vamos a responder a la pregunta, there, is there tal sí. cosa, right? Nosotros vamos a decir, <risa> is there a cat on the chair? Uh, tiempo. Is there a cat ah, on the chair? Is there a cat on the chair? Hay un gato en la silla. Yes, there is. Sí, ahí hay. Si es negativa, no, there isn't, ¿ok? Si es plural, yes, there are. Y si es negativa, siempre plural, no, there aren't, ¿ok? Quiere decir que vamos a poner yes, there is, o no, there aren't, ¿ok? Y en ese caso podemos utilizar las contracciones o las abbreviations. That is this one, right? The contraction. There aren't, there isn't, etc., etc. Or if you want to use the long form, you can use it when you are going to answer that kind of questions. But always you are going to use there. Okay. Yes, there is or no, there isn't. Yes, there are or no, there aren't. Okay. Is clear? Is clear? Guys, are you there? <laughs> okay, Pedro, okay, Peter said, is there a cat in my house? Okay, is correct, teacher, okay? Excellent, sí, es correcto, así es. Thank you so much. Vamos a ver, Carla said also clear, okay, perfect, excellent. So, after that, miren, acá está más específico, right? Si gustan, podemos tomarle captura a eso y podemos mandarle al WhatsApp para que lo puedan tener, ¿verdad? Tenemos there is, there are. There is only one thing, only one thing. There are two or more things, okay? <clears throat> they are used to describe rooms or pictures also, right? Or describe something that exists in any place, right? For example, we have, there is a boy, there is a book, there is an apple, there is a car, there is a woman. Let's talk about there are. There are two oranges, there are three people, there are five glasses, 
or there are six women, or there are four girls, okay? So this is the way that you're going to use there is or there are. If you want, you can take a picture and share it, guys. Okay, the picture is not there. Oh, okay. Okay, by my hand. Okay, excellent. Is clear? Yes, no? No. No? Yes, this is a Peter Benitez. Yes, no? Okay, let's do some examples, okay? Antes de pasar a los quantifiers que vamos a ver ahora, vamos a pasar a una de las prácticas en línea, okay? Para que podamos tener un mejor panorama de lo que estamos hablando. Acuérdense que la práctica hace al maestro, entre más se practica, más domina el tema, okay? So, let's practice. Vamos a ver, let's see. And quantum and quantum mouse, blah, 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 man, quantifier, topic on, there is and there are. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Quiero ver. Ah, by the way. Mm -hmm. No, it's the new stuff. But then. <clears throat> Vamos a ver. Quiero buscar una que no sea tan difícil, ¿ok? Permítanme. This one. Bueno, voy a abrir el WhatsApp, guys, and we are going to send the link there, okay? And you are going to get in that, and I'm going to show you what you are going to find there, okay? I'm going to send it also in the meeting chat for any case, okay? Is there? And just give me some minutes and I'm going to pass to the next group. Okay, is there, guys? The message is there. In the link also, right? I'm going to send you a game. Go ahead, guys. And I'm going to show you what you are going to find there in order to explain what we are going to do. Okay. So let's talk about there is versus there are, okay? So I'm going to move this. And we are going to start. Here we have a picture in which you have a table, you have dogs, you have a cat, you have some books, and you have a plant or a plot, right? And also we have some a uh, some pictures, and you have a shell, you have a lamb, you have an armchair, a ball, um, flower base, etc., etc., etc. Right? So what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to complete. The sentence is using there is or there are, okay? Complete the sentence using there is and there are. So you are going to display this and you are going to choose what is the best option that fits here in the spaces in blank by washing the picture that you have here, okay? Is clear? 
guys Clear. okay perfect go ahead Primero hay que ver la, la fotografía para saber si es there is or is there are y usted va a escoger cuál es la mejor opción en la oración, okay? After that, guys, we are going to pass to the second stage and you are going to decide what is the best answer to the questions that you have here. And you are going to place it in the right place, okay? Si es negativa o si es positiva, va a decidirlo Viendo la fotografía que está ahí arriba, ¿ok? Watching the picture that is a bow, ¿ok? And you are going to move the answer and you are going to place it in the spacing plan that corresponds to each answer that you have there. After that, guys, you are going to pass to the part number three. So what you are going to do, you are going to give click here, you are going to listen, and you are going to... You are going to decide if it is true or if it is false by watching the picture that is above also. And then you are going to evaluate your result. Okay, go ahead. Alexa is done also. Daniel is already done.
Okay, perfect. So let's check it. What is the first one? How many cats are there? ¿Cuántos gatos hay ahí? How many? There is a cat. On the there is one. a cat. Okay, perfect. How many dogs are there? There are. There are. There are two dogs. Because we have an S here, that means it is a plural form. Okay, the third one. How many lungs are there? There is. There is a lung because we don't have an S here. And also we have the uh, article A, right? So that means it is just one in singular. So let's talk about the answer. Is there a flower base on the table? Yes or not? Yes, there yes. is. Yeah, yes. yes, there is. Okay, number two. Are there are there five dogs? No, there are no, no, there aren't. Muy bien. Is there a cat behind the sofa? No, no. there are. No, there isn't. Okay, no, there no, isn't. There. Are there four books under the table? Yes, yes there are. Yes, there are. Okay, perfect, guys. Thank you so much. What is the first one? It is true or is false? True or false? True. 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 Okay. Number two. True or false? False. 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 Number three. True or false? True. 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 Okay. True or false? True. Okay, true. Okay, perfect. So let's check it. Okay, perfect. You get 10 of 10, guys. Congratulations to all of you guys. So it's clear? Much better? Yes? Mucho mejor? Yes. Okay, perfect. Excellent. So let's if you see in the practice, we were uh, using how much and how many, right? Let's talk about how much and how many, guys. Se los comparto, chicos. Vaya, como ustedes pudieron ver, guys, Utilizamos el how much y el how many. Y también es situado en esta parte de acá. El how many es usado para hablar o para preguntar acerca de nombres contables, como les estaba diciendo, ¿verdad? Nombres contables pueden ser todos aquellos que se pueden contar. Por ejemplo, manzanas, uvas, mesas, sillas, camas, eh, what? televisores, refrigeradores, etcétera, etcétera. Todo lo que se puede contar. Pero el how much es usado con los no contables. ¿Y cuáles son los no contables? Todos aquellos que no se pueden contar. Por ejemplo, la arena, la sal, el jugo, el agua, la leche, eh, el arroz, este, ¿qué? la miel, eh, la gelatina, etcétera, etcétera. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? Por ejemplo, si yo le pregunto, ¿cuántas manzanas tenés en tu casa? ¿Qué voy a utilizar? ¿How, how much or how many? How many? How many? How many? How many apples are there? Y siempre utilizando la forma de la pregunta, ¿verdad? Que siempre es el verbo al principio y luego utilizamos el there. Pero en este caso, como utilizamos una WH words, la situamos antes de eso, ¿verdad? How many apples are there? ¿Cuántas manzanas hay? Ah, there are three apples. O puede ser que yo le diga, how many apples are in the fridge? Are there in the fridge? Ah, hay cuatro manzanas in the fridge. There are four apples in the fridge. Okay? Recuerden que el 
El how many es para las cosas que se pueden contar y generalmente se ocupan con plurales, ¿ok? Ahora bien, si yo les pregunto, how much, how much milk is there in the fridge? ¿Cuánta leche hay ahí? There are some milk. Hay un poco de leche, ¿verdad? O no hay leche. Si usted quiere decir no hay leche, usted va a decir There isn't any milk. ¿Ok? Any es para decir no hay nada, o no hay ninguno, o ninguna. Y son, hay algo, o hay alguno, o algunas, ¿verdad? El son también se puede ocupar con... Eh, countable notes, pero eso es en otro, en otro ejemplo, right? For example, aquí está lo que les estaba diciendo, ¿verdad? How much es un quantifier y how many también es un quantifier. Lo único que how much se ocupa, como les estaba diciendo, con nombres no contables y how many con nombres contables. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? Y tenemos también a lot que se puede ocupar con ambos, ¿verdad? Contables y no contables, pero esto es como algo más extra, ¿verdad? Esto no lo vamos a utilizar ahorita, solamente vamos a enfocarnos en el how much y el how many. How much para no contables y how many para contables. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? Clear. Ok, perfecto. Excelente. So, let's do this. Por ejemplo, acá tenemos unos ejemplos. Vamos a ubicarlos solamente en estos de acá. ¿okay? Porque si no, nos vamos a confundir un poco más. Y no queremos eso. Ok. Por ejemplo, many. Sentences with many. There are many pens on the table. There aren't many pens on the table. So the positive could be negative. There are there many pens on the table? Yes, there are. No, there aren't. <clears throat> Utilizando el many o el much, right? There isn't much money, okay? No hay mucho. Moneda, dinero. Dinero, right? Is there much money? Hay mucho dinero. Yes, there is. Yes, there is, or oh, no? There isn't. There, there isn't, right? So, así es como vamos a ocupar. Si usted quiere decir cuántos o cuántas, ¿verdad? Vamos a utilizar el how. Pero si que solamente queremos hacer un statement o una oración, utilizando los quantifiers, many or much, vamos a utilizar there are many pens, o there isn't much, etc. right? So, Acá tenemos como una tablita que nos explica un poquito mejor el uso de ellos, ¿verdad? Many lo vamos a ocupar con nouns, o sea, nombres contables. For example, there are many pins, there aren't many pins. Are there many pins? Hay muchos lapiceros. Yes, there are or no, there aren't, right? Y el much. No tiene para contables, solamente tiene para no contables. Y lo utilizamos generalmente para hacer oraciones en negativo y preguntas. For example, there isn't much water. There isn't much, much water. water. Is there much water? Hay muchísima o mucha agua. Is there much water? Ajá. So, this is. Y a lot, que es a todo dar, ¿verdad? Siempre les he dicho, es a todo dar. A lot lo podemos ocupar con contables, no contables, en preguntas, en positivo, en negativo, ¿verdad? Pero esto es una cosa no tan formal. Estos son los más formales. Que en escritos, si usted quiere hacer un reporte, si usted quiere hacer una carta y utilizar los quantifiers, en that case, You cannot use a lot of, ¿ok? Porque a lot of is not formal. Cuando se está hablando con un amigo o el diario vivir, sí lo puede utilizar. Pero cuando vamos a hacer algo formal, como un escrito, 
no se puede utilizar a lot of, solamente much and many. Many. Ok, es que, excelente. Vale, este, I know that this is something that is a little bit complicated, but as much as you practice, you are going to learn how to manage this. If you want to take, you can take a picture to this table that is more specific and you can share it in the WhatsApp group. Considero que esta tablita nos dice bastante, ¿verdad? Y nos ahorra muchísima explicación porque ahí podemos ver lo que puedes hacer con many y lo que no puedes hacer con, con many. Lo que puedes hacer con much y lo que no puedes hacer con much. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? Eh, teacher. Uh -huh. En el caso de a lot of. There are a, a lot of pens. Se puede traducir como hay un montón de lapiceros, de lápiz, Ajá. algo así. O oh, hay muchos de estos lapiceros, ¿verdad? Es hay como muchos de estos uh -huh. lapiceros. Muchos uh -huh. o bastantes o un montón ah. también, sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es como que diga, there are a lot of people in the country or there are a lot of people around the world hay mm -hmm. muchísimas personas alrededor del mundo right or there are a lot of people in the meeting hay muchísimas personas en la reunión okay yeah perfect Any other questions? En el chat hay una pregunta, creo, de Will. Ah, ok, perfecto. Vamos a ver la diferencia para al preguntar para comprar, es decir, para preguntar el precio de algo. How much? Precio no puede decir precios, porque precio es como un nombre en general, es no contable. Un conto. Es un contable no. Por eso utilizamos how much. How much it costs? ¿Cuánto cuesta? How much it costs? It costs. Aquí se lo voy a escribir it, en el chat. It costs. How much? It costs. It costs. It costs. How much it costs? ¿Cuánto cuesta? ¿O cuánto es su, cuánto es su precio? Where it costs. How much? Pupusa, por ejemplo, ¿cuánto valen las pupusas? Ajá, uh -huh. how much the pupusas cost? O ¿cuántos estudiantes hay en la clase? Many, sí. How, how many students are in the class? How many are in the class? Are there in the class? Ok, vamos a ver. How many students are there in the class? ¿Cuántos estudiantes hay en la clase? Ah, there is 20, right? There, there is, there are, sorry. There are 20 people. People, people, connected. There are. There are. 20 people connected. 20 people. Yes, porque people es plural. Person es singular. Person es solo para una persona y people es para dos o más Bien, personas. Right. Así es. Es como que digas child. Child es niño, but children right. es, son niños. Right. Uh -huh. Entonces son nombres, este, uh, nombres irregulares. Irregular nouns. There are 20 people in class. Is there are many banks in the city? Are many banks in C S E S? Are many banks in the city? Hay muchos bancos en la ciudad. Yes, there are. Right? 
Wilfredo says, how many what? How many people are connected? ¿Cuántas personas están conectadas? Ah, there are 20 people connected. Y people, como es un nombre sí, plural, se ocupa con how many. Mm -hmm. That's the point. Pero eso lo vamos a ir manejando a medida que pasa el tiempo. Son cositas que nos vamos enterando poco a poco, ¿ok? Por eso está la sección de preguntas, ¿ok? So, está bien que pregunte hoy. Mañana les voy, a, les voy a dar como una review acerca del SCOM. Contable and non-contable nouns. Okay? Some examples. Another question. This said, there are much water in the sea. Yes. There are much water in the sea. Yes, uh, it is it, right? It is like this. Porque water is not countable, Carla, and you use much, right? There are many students in the class. In the class. Or in the classes. In las clases. Pero entonces serían muchos grupos de clases, right? Okay, pero está bien. There is the problem. If you mean that, it's correct. Another example. You say, Wilfredo, okay, there are much trees. No. Trees is Many. countable. It's countable. Yes. Many. And also you are you are using are that is in plural. So it means you have to use there are many trees in the park. Trees. Yes, that it is. Excellent. Thumbs up. Okay, bye. Recordemos que siempre con plurales vamos a utilizar many y con no plurales vamos a utilizar much. Vamos a utilizar con no contables much y vamos a utilizar con contables many. ¿Ok? Así como vemos acá, mira. Wilfredo. Teacher. Yes. Eh, con el many lo vamos a utilizar para singular y plural. ¿no? Ajá, se puede utilizar en, en singular. Pero es. Ah, eh, no, pero. No, no, eh, porque de, de no. hecho ya está. Está definiendo que Porque es plural. Porque como es plural, es. Sí, Entonces, no, no, no. No, es el que ocuparías tal vez. There is. El there is porque eh, en singular, ¿verdad? Y no mm -hmm. contables, nada más. No, there is no confused, no nos confundamos. Ok, many, plurales mm -hmm. y contables. Much, con este, no contable nouns. Ok. No contable nouns. Are there many books in the library? Yes, there are. Excellent, Carla. That's the way. Alexa, I don't talk too much with my sister. Ah, no, no, hablo mucho con mi hermana. Sí, I don't do many calls to her. No hago muchas llamadas a ella. Okay, perfect, excellent, great.
Another example. Okay, Jose Roberto is that you have many shirts in your closet. Excellent. That's the way. Many shirts, porque las camisas son contables. So they are contable nouns. So you can use many, right? Karen, there are many tables there in the restaurant, okay? Vaya, Karen, vamos a quitarle un R, el segundo R a la oración. Y estamos súper bien, okay? Mute this. Take off this and we are okay, okay? There are many tables there in the restaurant, okay? Edwin says, there are many flowers. The S is missing, okay? In my office, office. Okay, there are many flowers in my office. Excellent. There are many tables there in the restaurant. Excellent. That's the way, Karen. Flowers, also, right? Excellent. Thank you so much. Somebody else? Jose Roberto, there is a lot of beautiful, there are a lot of beauty in your eyes. Okay, there is a lot of beauty in your eyes. Okay, yes, it's correct, right? Hay mucha belleza porque estamos utilizando el nombre belleza, pero en este caso belleza es Singular, Roberto. Entonces usted puede decir, there is much beauty in your eyes, or in your face, or in your soul, in tu alma, right? So, like this. Mm -hmm. A lot of, es como que para que, para, 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 para plurales. Es solo para plurales. Y nombres no contables. Pero, there are many hands. Gallina, ¿cómo se escribe? Hands, ajá, es con H, hands. Ah, ok, hands. Uh -huh. In my ah, house. Ah, in my house. Yes, Ahí okay. me fue. Ajá, y en many, house. many. Check the word many, please. Ajá, y le puse mami, va. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry, please. Bueno. No worries, that happened with Excuse your me. cell phone. No, eso pasa con el, con el celular. Incluso a mí sí. me pasa también con la computadora. No worries for that, okay? Go ahead. Mm. Hands. Yes. Ahí me faltó gallinas, plural. Mm -hmm. Ah, vuelve well, otra vez. Coge. Es que no es el caso. Es difícil. En el iPhone, no sé. Is uh, okay. Yes, I know that. Hands with H. <laughs> okay, perfect. No worries.
finish? No more? Okay, let's pass to the next stage, guys. But after complete the explanations about grammar points, we are going to uh, get in the manual, okay? Because we had we have two days to do not work in the manual. So we had to complete that part. Just give me some minutes and I'm going to share this, this, this. Okay, guys, we are in unit four address in places. So I'm going to move this to this and we are going to start, guys. Okay, so what we are going to do now, guys, in this part, we are going to talk about directions. Do you remember that? We are going to make the practice of directions and places. Listen to your teacher. Read the following places from the map, okay? We have the bank here. We have the mall. You have the restaurant. Arrows Company, Book World, City Hall, Church, School, Sports Palace, and also First Avenue, Park, Second Oops. Avenue, Roosevelt Street, Barrios Street. Okay, so what we are going to do, we're going to watch the picture that we have here about the croquis or the maps that we have here, and then we are going to use we're going to make some questions. We're going to read it and we are going to answer the questions. Sorry, right? Which street is the restaurant on? Okay, esta, esta preguntita nos dice, ¿En qué calle se encuentra el restaurante situado? Okay. Y para referirnos a una calle, siempre recuerden que vamos a utilizar la palabra on. Okay, entonces vengo yo y voy a decir, Which street is the restaurant? Oh, ah, the restaurant is, 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 is. It's on. Uh -huh. Is on. And donde, en que calle esta? First Avenue. First Avenue, right? And that is the, the place, the, 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 pardon, the, the name of the street that is placed. And or the, could be uh, also Roosevelt Street. Street, right? Roosevelt Street. It is on First Avenue. And? Avenue. Right? And? And? Roosevelt Street. Roosevelt Street. Bell Street. Streets. En este caso vamos a ponerle S, ¿verdad? Porque son calles. No, oh, bueno, no. Sí, sí, porque la primera es Avenue, entonces no. Ok, the restaurant is on First Avenue. Aquí me falta una S. First Avenue and Roosevelt. And Roosevelt Rose, Street. Roosevelt, Roosevelt, Roosevelt Street. Ok, Sorry. así van a ser. Y luego van a responder la siguiente. Dice, which street, which street, the city hall on? ¿Dónde está situado el city hall? ¿En qué calle? Ah, on Second the Avenue. The city hall is on Second is Avenue. On the Second Avenue. Second right? Avenue. And, and Roosevelt Street. Roosevelt street. street. Ok, y así van a ir contestando. Ok. Solo son tres, ¿ok? Para que usted practique. Y así lo voy a ir así. Solo dicen lo que calle está situado cada cosa. Y recuerden que cuando vamos a hablar de calle, vamos a utilizar la palabra on o la preposición on, ¿ok?
Which step? First, first, Okay, the city hall is on the second avenue. Okay, perfect. Edwin Asuncion, Mabarca. Excelente. Finish? Everybody ready? Finish? Finish. Okay, so let's continue, guys. I know that you already know how it, how is this sentence. For example, if we say, "Which is the street? Which street is?" The park of, in which street is the park of? Uh -huh. The park is on um, first and second avenue, right? Second avenue. Uh -huh. Or Barrios and Roosevelt Street. And Roosevelt Street. Okay, could be, right? I have a question. Uh huh. Y se puede decir entre. Primera sí. avenida y segunda avenida. Between uh -huh. second avenue and first avenue. Sí, se puede. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's correct. Yes, it's correct. Also, you can use it. No worries. Okay, after making that exercise about the preposition on, how is the use of that? Okay, let's talk about how to use preposition of place. This is like a practice that we were doing before, okay? 
So we can use the preposition on when we talk about on Forest Avenue, corner or a street. Okay? Podemos utilizar la preposición on cuando hablamos de avenidas, de esquinas y de calles. calles. Okay. Vamos a utilizar la preposición in cuando hablamos del lugar El Salvador, el país, ¿verdad? O el, o el, o el departamento ¿verdad? in San Salvador o en un lugar, ¿verdad? O en la vecindad, the neighborhood, in the park, in the building, in the uh, shopping center, etc., etc., right? Or in the country, in El Salvador, or in the, par in the, the department, eh, San Salvador. Okay? It's clear? And also, we are going to use the preposition at when we talk about a mirror room, at work, or at bank. Okay? Este at lo vamos a ocupar cuando nosotros hablamos uh, de lugares como de, lugar, de lugares encerrados. <coughs> Por ejemplo, en el cuarto, en el, en el trabajo, en el banco, en la empresa, la in the company, at the church, etc. The okay. church. So, the places. En la cárcel, etc. Yes, yeah, also. En la cárcel. <laughs> And even <laughs> that, right? Okay, because we are talking about the place. And this is something more general. Recuerden que la preposición in es como para referirnos a algo más en general, no algo en específico. Y at sí es más específico. Para decir el lugar donde estás en ese, en ese momento. O donde está algo situado en ese momento. Ok. Ahora bien. Vamos con lo siguiente. Complete the locations for each item using the correct preposition of the place compared with a part. Okay. Tenemos, first, I work in the bank that is at, at in, or on. Ah, uh, no. On. On First Avenue first and Barrios Avenue and Street. Barrios Street. Okay. On. Y así sucesivamente. Vamos a ir ubicando la preposición que corresponde a cada una de las oraciones tomando en cuenta el cuadrito que tenemos arriba, above. ¿Ok? Esta explicación les va a ayudar mucho, ¿va? Para ubicar la preposición correcta en cada espacio, espacio en blanco. ¿Ok? Go ahead.
No me quedé en el piso, en el cajón, cuando hay un cuando hay. Pues sí, yo.
guys, let me know when you finish. Just will Fredo send the results, okay? I'm waiting for you guys. Can you, can you finish? By the way, esta que ven acá, chicos, ya tiene la preposición at aquí. No es necesario ponérsela porque ya la, ya la tiene. Pero esto es a mistake of the platform, right? Okay, Carla is already done also, right? Okay, perfect. So let's check it. In. So what is the first one, guys? This is... This is Om, right? Om Avenue, M, Barnes Street. Number two. The fa their factory is located in, on, or at? In. In La Libertad, because it is a, what? It's a department, right? So let's see, number three, we see you at, porque es algo más específico, a training room, or at, or in? In. In the cafeteria, yes. Number four, Anna works in the company that is in, at, or on? In? In town, yes, you're right. My relatives go to the mall that is in, on. at, on, on the Roosevelt Street. Remember that when we talk about street? We are going to use the preposition. Um, okay, let's see number six. Ah, number six is already done, right? So it is at, at the meeting room with everybody. Okay, excellent guys. Congratulations. So what time is it guys? What time is it guys? <clears throat> ten, it's 10 o'clock. Okay, it's almost 10 o'clock, but it's 20, it's 59. It's all the time. Minutes to 10, right? Bye. Una preguntita, chicos. Antes de, de, bueno, vamos a detenernos acá, ¿ok? Antes de finalizar con la clase, ¿todos están al día con las tareas, chicos? No. Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. Yes, okay, somebody's yes, missing with the homeworks. But, si usted no ha hecho las tareas, chicos, tratemos de hacerlas estos, estos dos días porque ya solamente tenemos la sesión de mañana y la sesión del día viernes, if we finish, okay? We finish the course, so it is necessary that you finish the homeworks and also the final exam. Recuerden que esta semana tenemos el examen final, que también es importante para pasar el curso. Please, eh, trabajemos en eso. Vaya, como compañeros hay que apoyarnos, chicos. Si usted necesita las respuestas o necesita orientación en cuanto a las respuestas de la, alguna tarea de las que tenemos en las, en las diferentes unidades, Por favor, no duden en preguntar en el grupo. Y para los que ya la hicieron, please, por favor, también tratemos de ayudarnos. 
Recuerden que somos un grupo, ¿verdad? Somos unidos y el propósito es pues, que todos, no solo que todos aprendamos, sino que todos pues, podamos pasar el curso, ¿ok? Para poder vernos en el siguiente, si se da el siguiente curso, ¿ok? No sabemos, please. Probably yes, probably no, right? Pero por cualquier cosa, pues hay que, hay que apoyarnos todos, ¿ok? Así que cualquier preguntita, cualquier inquietud también pueden escribirme y yo con todo gusto les voy a ayudar. Me pueden escribir al privado o pueden escribir al grupo, ¿ok? En el grupo yo les voy a ayudar también. Y los compañeritos, si yo no puedo contestar rápido, por aquí soy emotivo, también los compañeritos pueden ayudarles, ¿ok? ¿Es clear? Yes. Ok, perfect, excellent. So, I motivate you to finish the homeworks that are missing, guys, for the ones that didn't finish yet. And I see you tomorrow, guys. Excellent. So, have a nice dream and good night, everybody. Okay, I see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good, good night. night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Have a nice dream. See you tomorrow. Guys. Bye. I see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, Peter. Good night. Good night, Jose Roberto. Have good a night, nice dream. Good night. <laughs> good night, everybody. Pedro Benitez, also, right? Luis Varela, Yuri Rivas, Lizeth Medrano. Bye bye, Carla Susana, Alexa Guadalupe, Edwina Barca, Karen, Beatriz. Good night, Karen. Have a nice dream, also, right? Laura Guadalupe, also. Goodbye. Edwin Flores, okay, bye, Edwin. See you tomorrow, please. Don't forget to connect it. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much.